I have a floral garland card here that is absolutely stunning, using some of the new dyes in a different way that I think you'll like. So we will show you what we're going to be using. First up, we have the Petite Peony Cluster, and this is what we're going to use to make our garland border with. I have the uh, Grace Frame. I'm also going to be using the Ornate Octagon Striplet. And the sentiments come from the delightful sentiment set, a clear stamp set by Creative Expressions. So first up, I think I'll cut the striplet for us. Now this striplet comes in two pieces, so you have an inner decorative piece and an outer frame. I'm going to use a piece of white coconut card here, or coconut white card I suppose. Pop that down into place and do a little bit of taping into place. Center that like that, hold it in place, run through. You hear a little bit of cracking from the dies, that's just going into the um, cutting plate. Perfectly normal. Let's check to see if we've got all areas cut here. That looks beautiful. I'm going to do some embossing as well, so I'll move it over onto my embossing mat. bits out. There we go. Keep them off your mat. And do a bit of uh, cleaning out with the tool in one, take out the extra bits. Take our tape off. Okay. There we go. And let me just get a hold of these extra little pieces there. You can see absolutely gorgeous how pretty that is. Now, what we're going to do with this is use it as a little decoration on the edge of our card. And I want to have it kind of top and bottom. So if we just nip it in half here, we can add a bit of glue to it. And I'll just use the Fine Line Creative Expressions um, Cosmic Shimmer Dries Clear Glue. I'm going to add a little bit around the edge here. There we go, and just a tiny bit on some of the bits here, and that'll hold it down, I think, real nicely. A couple pieces. Do this side, give that a second to set up. And these are really nice. This new um, fine line brush is perfect for doing some of the die cut areas that are quite, you know, they're a little bit um, too delicate for regular glue, but you may not want to use a spray glue, so these are perfect for that. Okay, so if I pop this in the center of the card, and I just want to lean over a little bit, touch that right to the edge there, give that a second to set up. Okay, Oop. In fact, I can even, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll put a little piece of tape because we are going to cover that center section, so I'm not even going to fuss with that. And this one, line it straight down to the edge here. There we go. Give that a second. Okay, so now I've got just a tiny little accent coming through, top and bottom. Since I didn't put any right on the edge there, we'll just leave that to glue. Okay, and take a little bit of my adhesive off there. Okay, that'll work. Okay, set that to the side. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the gray die. Now I've gone ahead and used the scallop outer edge already, just like that. And what I want to do is take this inner piece as a little bit of a decorative accent to it. So I'll pop that into the center and just sort of eyeball line it up so it's right in the middle. Bring back my cutting plate, pop it down. I'll tell you what, I think I will just slip a piece of um, wax paper under there. It's fairly detailed, so I'll just help that come out um, of the die easier. Okay. Take 
out our wax paper and put that back into place. You can see how pretty that is. So now I have a base and I can use the colored card behind it. And this is our, our iris, iris card. So that will show through from behind that. And then the next thing, and I have one I've already done ahead of time with some foam on it. And the next thing I've done is used the next size up in the grace. And these all have separate cutting edges for them. And I've cut a frame using these three, okay? And I've backed it white on white. So it's gonna raise a little bit and put a bit of mounting foam on the back already. So let me just pop these off. And it'll give you kind of a high-low look to the center of the card because you'll be looking down into the die cut with the iris card behind it. And then this part of it will be the frame that's raised up. Just adds a little bit of extra interest to the card. One more. Okay. Pop that right into that open area on the outside. Okay. So bring this back in put it into place, and then we'll show you how the border is made on either side. And just sort of center that. Okay, I like that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these um, peony clusters right here for us. Just show you how to put them together. So I've got some white card. I'm gonna do the outer edge here. And I'm gonna use a little bit of wax paper on this one because it is fairly detailed, so it'll help pop it out easier. Take that, and on the center flower, I'm going to just pop it onto the iris card. Let me add a piece of tape there. There we go. Run those together. Okay. Pop that down there. So now I've got the flowers. And these here will match the flowers that are cut out in the center of that array. There it is. So I'll show you how we'll put them together. Tape back in place. And let's just use our tool in one, take out the extra bits. Okay. And pop that out. And then you just need to take your wax paper off. So you just get underneath it and peel it, which is quite pretty by itself, I might add. Okay. So these will line up with these flowers. And one of the things that I think is perfect is to use this little um, applicator for these. So you can go around the edges, just get it into place. If I used a spray glue for this, I would get the whole entire back of it. And I don't want that. I just want to glue the flowers into place. So this is the perfect way to do it was, is with this. Let me just get all the glue on and that way it can kind of start to set up and get tacky. All the way around those flowers. And a little bit more there. Yeah, okay. Now, so you wanna put them on face down from the back and then just work out which way these need to go? Hold on, let me just see. No, it's this one. This one's separate, I believe. Pop that into place. And then there's a double one, and you've got two that are attached over here, so you can pop those over and put them right into place and just give them a second to set up. So then they'll show through beautifully from this side and you can just add some little pearls. So I've gone ahead and I've done six of these, okay? And I've added little pearls on the center of each one of them and put some tiny pieces of mounting foam behind those flowers. So let me just work this out. So we are going to start in the center on both sides and put one on that side. this on that side. So I'll have it facing inward and then we will work the other ones around the edge. Let me get all these taken off. You could glue these flat if you prefer to. I do love to have a little bit of um, 
the raised dimension on my card, card so that adding a little bit of mounting foam to the back of things will take care of that. And there we go. So I'm just going to catch that leaf there and there, create a pretty little swag and do these two. And this last one goes right there. So it creates a really pretty scallopy sort of border up and down the side of that. And then to finish it off, I've stamped my sentiment, used a tiny bit of Distress Ink, the shaded lilac around the edge, and I've cut it out with the center of the grace die. And we're gonna pop that right into the middle of that. Ever so pretty. And you can add pearls around the top or the bottom to add a little bit of accent to it, but isn't that gorgeous? really love the way that comes out.